Wong. He's Assistant Director of International Organizations, Directorate of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Singapore. You have the floor. Thank you, Madam Moderator. Dear Excellencies and colleagues, a very good afternoon, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here to share with you some of Singapore's efforts and international partnerships for implementing the um, Sustainable Development Goals. Like many fellow SIDS, Singapore is a small country with no natural resources. So during our early years after independence, we were fortunate to have received some assistance from some of the developed countries and international organizations such as the UNDP. Um, such support put Singapore on the path to development. Having benefited from external assistance, we believe that we should pay it forward through South-South cooperation. From our own experience, human resource development is a critical building block for growth and development. And that's why we established the Singapore Cooperation Programme, SCP, in 1992. The SCP works through bilateral technical cooperation, third country training program, as well as cooperation with international organizations. It shares with fellow developing countries Singapore's experience in areas such as public health, education, water management, and public administrations. These are relevant to the SDGs 3, 4, 6, and 16, as well as others. Since the SCP's establishment in 1992, we have um, more than 112,000 participants from over 17, um, 170 countries participated in our activities. Our annual SCP calendar offers fellow developing countries a range of causes that are relevant to the UN 2030 agenda, as well as specific SDGs. Besides our calendar causes, we also have customized programs tailored to countries' needs as well as interests. The SCP is very much a demand-driven program that reflects the interests and concerns of the participants. To be frank, it is also designed to benefit Singapore as the flow of participants from all over the world gives us access to their experience and their ideas, which we in turn can learn from. We believe that the SDGs are a useful roadmap and development tools for countries and a helpful guide for effective development partnerships, both north-south as well as south-south. I will now share some of the specifics of the SCP that support the implementation of the 2030 Agenda. Singapore launched a technical assistance package known as the Sustainable Development Programme in 2015 at the UN uh, Summit for Sustainable Development. Under this, Singapore partners UN agencies and other bodies such as uh, NGOs with domain expertise to provide capacity building to fellow developing countries in areas of good governance, sustainable cities, and water and sanitation management. For example, we offer leadership programs on good governance and sustainable development in partnership with the UNDP Global Center for Public Service Excellence, which is based in Singapore. We have signed an MOU with UN Habitat for capacity building on sustainable urban development. And we will be running the inaugural program tailored for officials from African countries in June 2017. In collaboration with Singaporean NGOs, we are working to deliver water projects to local communities in our region. And we have recalibrated our annual SCP calendar of courses to focus on the SDGs. At the third international conference on SIDS in Samoa in September 2014, Singapore announced our special three-year technical cooperation package for fellow SIDS. In addition to priority placement for SIDS officials in training courses, we customized courses for senior SIDS officials in relevant areas, such as disaster management and non-traditional security, as well as civil aviation and maritime fellowships in Singapore. I'm pleased to inform everyone that Singapore will renew this program this year. We hope that more officials from your countries will participate in these courses and more information can be found on the SEEDS Partnerships website. Now, I'll speak on some of the challenges. We regularly review and make efforts to improve our programs and to keep them useful and relevant for the participants. We 
constantly seek feedback from the participants so as to widen and deepen our knowledge and understanding of their country's concerns and circumstances. So we have also been uh, reaching out to countries further away from Singapore and have been working with the UNDP and other organizations to promote awareness of our causes. For distant countries facing logistical challenges in attending courses in Singapore, we try to conduct courses in their countries or at least in their regions. For example, we plan to conduct the first joint training program with the Pan American Health Organizations, PAHO, in Brasilia next month. The course aims to facilitate the exchange of knowledge and best practices related to the clinical management, lab diagnosis, and epidemiological surveillance of vector-borne diseases such as dengue. It targets 20 countries in the Americas as well as in Asia where the incidence of dengue is high. And lastly, I would like to uh, make three general points regarding the SDGs. First, we see the SDGs as uh, aspirational goals to be pursued at each country's uh, preferred pace and according to each country's different needs and priorities. Every country is unique and has to chart its own development path. Frequently, it is counterproductive to prescribe solutions which may have worked in a particular context for challenges faced by other countries. Now, given the coverage, the wide coverage of SDGs, we would expect countries and their development partners to identify their particular national priorities and uh, work on them first. It is not reasonable to expect countries to try to achieve all of them at the same time and to an equal degree. We ourselves have chosen to focus on SDG 6, on clean water and sanitation, and SDG 11 on sustainable urbanization. Second, the SDGs are interrelated as economic, social, environmental, and other issues affect one another. So it is important for civil servants, civil society organizations, and development partners to cooperate closely. Government agencies cannot afford to have a silo mentality. I realize that this is much easier said than done, even for small countries and small governments. It is a work in progress for Singapore, as well as for many others. Although we find that a formal interagency process with all the concerned agencies on the same table is a useful way to keep everyone pointed in the same direction. And third, we encourage countries to take part in voluntary national reviews at the UN High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development. Achieving the SDGs is a long-term endeavor. We believe that such reviews are a useful platform for countries to share their experience and to learn from others. They should continue to be country-led and voluntary, and countries should be given the flexibility to choose the timing, areas of focus, and indicators used in their reviews, based on their specific needs and levels of development. Singapore will be participating in the review in 2018. And we are happy to continue sharing our development experience through the SCP. We do not claim to have all the answers, and I look forward to further discussions with everyone on these issues. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation on Singapore's uh, uh, partnership activities uh, with small islands and the successes that you've had and also the, some of the challenges that you've had. We now move on to the next presentation. Um, I will call 